If you've been watching my channel for a number of years now, you'll know what this thing is here. This is my Blue Yeti microphone. Uh, probably cost me somewhere around 130, maybe $140. I've also invested in this adjustable stand and the shock mount that you see right here. Obviously being an e-learning designer developer is expensive. Not only do you need to buy things like microphones, but you need laptops, you need all the appropriate software. That's why I was really pleased to receive this in the mail today. I was curious about this. This is from Fafine Technology. This is their K052 desktop microphone, and they've sent it to me to take a look at and review, and I'm gonna share the results of that with you guys today. So right now I'm recording on my Blue Yeti, but what we'll do is we'll unbox this microphone first, see what's inside, and then I'm gonna switch, I'll pause the recording, and we'll switch to the new microphone and see how it sounds, and you can judge for yourself whether it's a good value or not. So first of all, let's open it up. We'll take a look at what's inside here. Uh, a little thank you card from Fafine themselves and some references to their social media site and their website. Uh, also, the user's guide is right here. It's K052 user's guide. And let's pull the microphone out itself. See what's inside here. Get rid of that box. Get rid of the styrofoam. So here's the microphone itself in the styrofoam there. Let's get rid of this. And yeah, so as suspected, the microphone cable, the USB cable is permanently connected. I can't disconnect it. That would be nice, but you know, that's okay. The one thing I will say about this USB cable is it looks to be of decent length. A lot of times you'll get really short cables and this gives you greater flexibility Looks like probably about two meters or so. The base itself, in fact, the whole microphone feels heavier than I thought it was going to be. It looks like there's, I mean, there's definitely metal in this construction. So it definitely gives it some weight. The quality of things like something as simple as the, the volume control, you can see that's actually a metal volume control and you can adjust it accordingly. It's a double gooseneck design. So you have a gooseneck down here for adjustment and you can also adjust the top as well. So that's a really good design. And there is a mute button on it as well. So if you're using it, mute the recording for privacy, uh, you can do so just by pressing the, the mute button right on the base of the microphone. So I'm gonna pause the recording at this point and we're gonna switch to this microphone so you can hear a live demonstration I'm not processing the audio in any of my recording here, whether it's for the Blue Yeti or for this. So you'll get a really good sense of whether a microphone that retails for $24.99 can be good enough for your needs. Okay, so I've started recording again. I'm now recording on the Fafine K052 microphone, desktop microphone. And let's just test out the mute button. So obviously I think that works fine. I have the volume set at about one third total volume. So I don't know if this is good or not, but judging by my VU meters over on the other display, it seems to be about similar to my other microphone, but it seems to be, be a good, good level right there. Uh, again, I really like the adjustableness. I also like the fact that I don't have some big microphone coming in from the side. In fact, you can barely notice this thing um, in my camera shot. So I might consider using this as my, my daily driver moving forward if the sound quality is good enough. When you're just getting started as a freelance instructional designer, quite often you can't hire voice talent to record your narration for you. So you have to do it yourself. And having a microphone like this as part of your e-learning tool belt of, of equipment I think is really important to have as well. The other thing that I use microphones for in what I do is I do a lot of one-on-one -on -one instruction with my clients. So uh, if you wanted to hire me to teach you how to use Adobe Captivate, we would do sort of a web conferencing thing and I would need a microphone for that. So the mute would actually be quite helpful if I say got a call from someone or needed to speak to someone here at home, I could do so with privacy. 
So overall, I like the idea of the microphone. Once I hear it, of course, I'll, I'll get a better sense of what the quality's like. And I think what I'll do at this point is I'll pause the video again. I'm going to play this back and then I'm going to give you my final thoughts afterwards. Okay, so I've had a chance to listen to both my Blue Yeti microphone and the Fafine uh, K052 microphone and compare. Now, take this with a grain of salt. Uh, obviously, I think my Blue Yeti is a better sounding microphone. It has got a richer sound to it. The, the K052 is a $25 microphone. The Blue Yeti is well over $125. So is the uh, Blue Yeti five times as good as the K052? I don't know. I think the K052, if you are just getting started, um, as I've mentioned, if you're just getting started as an e-learning designer developer and you're looking for an all-purpose microphone that is budget conscious, that is affordable when you're just getting started, you know, immediately after purchasing all the software and the hardware that you need to, uh, to, to design and develop e-learning and to perform the role of online trainer, um, you know, do you really want to spend all that extra money right away? Eventually, you might want to upgrade to better microphones in the future, but as a microphone that you're just getting started with, I think the K052 would be a great choice. I'm going to include some links in the description down below. If you'd like to purchase a K052, uh, you'll see that in the, the description below. If you thought this video was useful, please like and share with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, hire me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that achieves your business goals. Visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.